And I feel like Butterfly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out of the game. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire to fly. We used to rap it like that. So that's why I'm so low. I'm clicked up. I put poles under this polo. A couple niggas wasn't solid in my photos. I really hope my cousin lawyer like Kodo. I told my niggas that I love him and don't switch. Uh. I lost my dad and got me walking around with sticks. Uh. Hey, 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 so that was the promo song, Don't Switch Up by K100. You know what I'm saying? He hollered at me, wanted to get some promo. We actually about to start doing promo for more artists. So if you're interested, you know what I'm saying? It ain't free, but it ain't expensive. If you want some promo, you know what I mean? You can hit me up on Twitter at Vitafly or at Rice Gang Clothing at gmail.com, you know what I'm saying? We could talk about the promo and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? We make it reasonable. I think when you get into a certain position, it's best, it's good to give back and give people a look. So that was on my dog, K100. I'll make sure that I put the link, you know what I'm saying, in the pinned comment. I actually watch the videos rather than just, you know, throw something out there. I watch them. But um, speaking of videos, you know what I'm saying? I'm cooking while they looking, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the kitchen getting it in. Um, My dog, Swamp, is basically saying that this is going to be his first and pretty much last year in battle rap, he's sick of the politics. He's sick of all of the BS that goes on. And let me tell you, let me tell you, I would be one to let you know that there are a lot of politics in battle rap. People want to talk about who you could battle, where you could go, what you could eat, what you could say on camera, who you could do this with, that with. And me personally, that's why I'm so glad I went, you know, totally independent don't want to work with anybody or for anybody because, I mean, they will tell you what channel you can record on, what you can say, what you can't say, all while I'm not paying you. There you go with that bullshit. Man. So, I mean, <clears throat> woo, I never made a single dollar in battle rap until I made it on my own. I promise you. That's, that's just the way it is. But um, that's neither here nor there. But salute to Swamp. Um, he is basically saying that the politics in battle rap, all of the mess behind the scenes, it's just too much, and this will probably be his first and last year in battle rap. And that uh, you know he he's he's got rock, he's got twerk, and you know he said that everything that he does this year he's gonna do at 110 percent. But you know he's saying that he got kids, he got two jobs, and I totally respect it because when you got kids, it's a totally different perspective. You know what I'm saying? You like every second that you're wasting at this event or going here or doing that, it's time that you could be spending with your kids. So I, I respect it a lot. You know what I'm saying? But the politics is just something that's always been in battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Like once people get in position, they feel like they can tell you what to do, who you have to see. You have to take all these battles that nobody really cares about. And then you get to a point where you are. And I've always felt like he was smart in the moves that he makes. And you know what I'm saying? I support 100% what he's got going on. Um, I did tell you all that he's got Tay Rock coming up. Um, the battle that was off is now back on. He also mentioned in this live stream about New Jersey's work. But, you know, peep it. Peep the stream. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Um, also, if you want promo, you already know how to get it. Either by the fly on Twitter or Rice Gang Clothing at gmail.com. Like, I'm 
not gonna say like the way battle rap go or how battle rap is set up there's something wrong with it or some shit like that no that's not the case battle rap ain't for me per se because like I don't feel like it should take 20 years for battles I don't feel like it should be you should have to go through world war 1 through 5 to get a battle I don't feel like None of that shit is necessary. I feel like battle rap should thrive off what the fans want and what the fans want to see. A lot of times with battle rap, motherfuckers will want to see a battle. Two motherfuckers will want to battle each other. But by the time that the battle happens, neither person interested in it. And like, I got a short attention span. And like, I'm not finna be them worried about no fucking battles being booked down the line or what all I got to do to get a special battle or this that and the third like I don't I don't care for the politics of it then on top of that like another thing is it's too much running around and a, and a bunch of bullshit it's too much theatrics it take too much for a fucking battle to happen and like me personally I don't want to do the shit no more. The shit just whack as fuck, man. It's whack. It don't be just, like, leagues and shit like that. It be actual battlers and shit like that who make the shit dumb as fuck or lame as hell. Because, like, on the route that I'm on now, certain fans want to see certain battles from me. But guess what? You're not going to see those battles until these top-tier niggas figure that they figure me out take their time and put their shit together and then place a call like okay give me Swamp I'm ready for him now now Swamp got 25 30 days to prepare for a battle that you've been preparing for for months now you ready to make a call nah I ain't with that <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't with that I'm just, I'm just being real I ain't with that if you want to battle let's battle if not shut the fuck up then like I know it's a part of selling fights and making the bag bigger and hopefully we'll see this down the road like I ain't with all that shit if a nigga I, like I said I treat battle rap like the streets if a nigga won't smoke with me I'm pulling up I'm not finna damn make a nigga wait or none of this wild ass crazy ass shit like I'm pulling the fuck up let's handle this type shit that's just how it goes like in the streets so like I'm 29 years old I'm not trying to hear no shit about you ain't ready for this or you ain't ready for that or now ain't the time or this, that, and the third. I'm 29 years old, bro. If I want to jump off a fucking mountaintop and commit suicide, that's me. Let me do what the fuck I want to do. If a nigga, if I'm, if I'm not ready for a certain caliber of a battle and I want that battle and that person wants that battle, let's do it. What's the hold up? I don't get that shit. I don't want to hear no examples of no fucking jack boy or no examples of people in the past that had a bad battle and couldn't bounce back. That's not gonna. That's not the same effect as it have on everybody. It be what the motherfuckers do during the battle and after the battle that make them motherfuckers not able to bounce back. Niggas can't take a loss. I don't joke when I say I treat battle rap like 2K or playing a video game or some shit like that. Because you win some, you lose some. You're not going to win every fucking battle. Big stage, small stage, little stage, whatever the case may be. Like, I'm just, I'm like, like I said, I'm just bored with it, bro. Not bored with it. I just don't have the passion for it that I do. And, like, before I do a, a million little poop put battles or battles that don't make no sense to me or battles that I don't want to fucking do, before I do that, I'll back away from the shit. I'm not about to do a million battles that I don't care for, that I don't want to do. And then when I do get a battle that I want, I'm burnt out. I'm burnt. I ain't got no material. I ain't got nothing to damn say. And all the damn passion is going any damn way because now that I finally get a battle I want, like, you know what I'm saying? And that ain't the case because, yeah, I'm about to battle Twerk and yeah, I'm about to battle Tay Rock and shit like that. But this shit gets exhausting. Because truth be told, like, I got I got five children that need 
a father that need timing, that need raising, that need structure, that need fucking discipline. My kids need me more than this fucking battle rap shit. That's why I got two jobs and I work hard the way I do now. To where I don't have to put all my eggs in the battle rap bucket. I'm not finna do that. Battle rap is not gonna make or break me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so like, I got children I could be spending time with instead of chasing this monkey ass shit or running around doing all this monkey ass shit or doing shit that don't even matter at the end of the day. And then when, like, you know what I'm saying? If a motherfucker don't get what I'm saying, I, it is what it is. Or <laughs> to each his own, but I know why me personally, like, I ain't with this shit no more. I'm tired of it. I'm fed up. It just take too much, bro. It take too much for grown ass niggas. Take too much for grown ass niggas to be getting a handheld or wait on this. Wait, there's a car coming. Don't cross the street right now. You a grown ass man. If you don't know how to look both ways before you cross the street, you a bust ass. That's just how I feel. But like I'm not finna, I'm not finna be one of these niggas that get done like the rest of these niggas. Nigga run you, run you up, run you tired. Because that's all these fucking top tier niggas do. This is what the top tier niggas do. Especially motherfuckers like John John and all these other motherfuckers. This is what motherfuckers do. They wait until you climb up and you're tired. You get to the top of the hill. You're tired. You're exhausted from your journey trying to make it to the top of the hill. Now they want to battle you when you're exhausted. You need to regroup. You need to rehydrate. You need to get yourself together. You can't turn that battle down because this is a battle that you've been wanting. You jump in the ring with a motherfucker who been lining you up the whole damn time. The only reason I took this fucking twerk battle, I wasn't going to take this fucking twerk battle, man. I wasn't. I know what the fuck twerk did. When I kick Ace ass, twerk start lining me the fuck up. Twerk never liked me. He'll tell you that. He never cared for me. He never liked me. He started lining me up a while ago. Because truth be told, Norbs went to book me and twerk on Born Legacy 9, I think, or some shit like that. And found, come to find out he been knew about it before I knew about it. I said, hell no. I'm not about to get in there and die to a motherfucker who had me lined up the whole damn time. Like, I ain't with that shit. And like I said, don't make or break me to the point where, like, I got to do this. Or if I don't, it don't matter, bro. Like, I'm still going to always eat. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do uh, uh, um, one round on the Discord shit. Like, I don't be ducking smoke. I'm all for it, bro. This is, a, this is like... When I played basketball, I went to the gym every day. There wasn't no days off for that shit. Like, nigga, I'm, we playing five on five over here. We playing four on four over here. We playing three on three over here. Like, I don't duck no fucking smoke. And that's my problem with this shit. I'll be done failed in battle rap from not ducking smoke. Call the motherfucker out and you get all the bullshit. Whoop, 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 whoop. Then all of a sudden your phone ring. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Now, nigga, I wasn't even fucking thinking about you. Now, I suppose that if you're a battle rapper, you should be. No, nah, that's bullshit. Because battle rap is a very, a very time-consuming sport. You really have to take time out of your, your your daily life to write some shit for another motherfucker. And quite frankly, like I feel like I did enough to where like the eyes are on South Carolina. That's the only thing I really wanted. I wanted motherfuckers to know South Carolina got problems here. Like South Carolina got some motherfucking heavy hitters we got something to say down here and i think i did and i think i shed light on the carolinas like period mission accomplished i never came into no battle rap wanting a million dollars or wanting to be that nigga or or had a rank of these motherfuckers like i just wanted smoke this is an outlet an outlet to get your, your, your aggression and shit off but at the end of the day like i say it come a time when you get like it's i'm I'm not finna be putting my all in the damn bullshit ass battles that I don't care for. And uh, you can't just keep turning down shit because like then, then the phone start ringing. You got to stay popping. The only way to stay popping is to stay relevant. You got to stay doing something. I do interviews, but I ain't about to do all. I ask the interviews just to stay relevant or this, that, and that. I ain't about to do it. I'm not doing none of the monkey ass shit, bro. Like, I go to work. It's a two jobs every day. I could be putting my time into running up a bag that way. Because it ain't what all it ain't all it's cracked up to be until you get to a certain level. You still gonna have to work. I won't put my time and energy into the jobs I got now and really run a fucking bag up. Not doing all this crazy ass shit, man. It's too many obstacles, too much bullshit. 
I'm just, I'm, I'm more used to the, if a nigga won't smoke, let's handle it type shit. Ain't no damn, I need you to do this, 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 this first before you do this. Because like, I feel sorry for motherfuckers that still want to see me in T-Top. I don't want to battle T-Top anymore. I could care less about battling T-Top. I don't want to battle T-Top. If I was to get a call for T-Top right now, I would decline it. For the fuck of it. People been screaming they want to see me in T-Top so long. This motherfucker out here battling the Green Ranger and Cortez and Bill Collector and all kind of crazy shit and this, that, the third. Motherfuckers who really don't care to battle him. Niggas don't want no real damn smoke. I'd be damned if I'm about to damn. Yeah, you let me know when you want to uh, take care of this. Fuck out of here. Nah, I ain't doing it like that. I ain't with it. Now, like I said, I, I wanted to give ample time to motherfuckers who do support me and back me and them, you know what I'm saying, who fuck with my shit and fuck with my team, fuck with the Carolinas and shit like that. I wanted to give them ample time to know, like, this is going to be my last year doing this shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't feel I loved for it for a long time, though. And, like, that's the crazy thing about it, like, once, you, once your, your passion ain't in something, and you're doing it for no reason, it ain't gonna be no good outcome from it. So before I start looking like a nigga, uh, a one-hit wonder, or some shit motherfucker that wasn't all that was cracked up to be, I'll step away from the shit. And I know once I step away from something, like, mm, same thing as relationships, bro. Ain't no looking back. No second chances and shit like that, bro. But it is what it is, though. But like I said, I just want to know everybody, let motherfuckers know that who fuck with me, who fuck with the style, who fuck with the movement, who fuck with everything. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, bro, for real. If I if I damn, if I touched you, your life in a way or brought something to battle rap that you could appreciate that wasn't here before or went around a while ago, I appreciate that. I just wanted to be like, that's one thing I want to thrive off being like genuine with this shit. Never changing or, or, or like just always being myself. And like this is a part of them. This is a part of being myself, man. Because like I don't give a fuck about a damn dollar. I respect I respect real before I respect the dollar, bro. It's too many motherfuckers out here that'll do anything for a fucking dollar. And I mean anything. You got niggas out here doing weird ass shit for fucking money and and just for a fucking dollar, man. And it ain't that serious, bro. My me. I never, I don't care how, how people, what people think of me. I never did. You could think I'm pussy. You could think I'm lame. You could think, you could think whatever. But you're going to view me different than how you think I am. I know that. Because when you see me, I'm going to make sure I'm on my shit. But I just want to keep that shit fly. Keep it real and just tell the truth, bro. Because this shit, like, I think it done ran its course. I'm just being real. I think the shit done really ran its course. And like I say, who knows, man? Maybe my damn, maybe my fucking damn, my mindset will change from here to the end of the year or whatever. But like, I know like, once, I, once I'm on some shit, man, I'm on some shit, bro. I greatly appreciate you, bro, for real, man. For real, man. But like, we gonna knock out. We gonna, but we don't don't get that shit fucked up. We is gonna down. We is gonna turn up for 2020 though. I'm turning the fuck up for 2020. I'm trying to smash any and everything in my path. To seek to destroy. Like seriously, ain't nothing gonna change as far as when I'm on that stage. When I'm on that stage, like you gonna get you gonna get swamp. I know that. But that's just how shit go, bro. I guess it is. Uh. But like I said, one more time, I appreciate everybody who fought with me, man. We still turning up all 2020. We all over the United States. We ain't backing down from no smoke. We handling business. It is what it is, man. 
I ain't tripping, bro. It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. Word. I appreciate that. Skinny Skinny Man is my favorite battle also. Because that's where the aggression came, bro. <laughs> like nigga Ace. I just talked to Ace. Well, I might get out just live. And get ready for the real bag. Clocking in another job. I just know damn at the end of the day, like, I just gotta stick to my guns, bro. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. 2020 gonna be a good year. I'm gonna finish this bitch off strong, man. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. Y'all be easy. Hold it in the road. They said I love you, then I mean it. Closest niggas that kill you, nigga, I seen it. I, I can't trust the soul, that's why I'm so low. I'm glicked up, I put poles under this polo. A couple niggas wasn't solid in my photos. I really hold my cousin lawyer like Kodo. I told my niggas that I love him and don't switch, uh. I lost my dad, it got me walking around with sticks, uh. Some niggas fold their head to crop them out the